the way that the cards are laid out, basically, there is some weight regarding a travel situation or you feel a little bit stuck as a result of travel delays, okay? As for what's coming in here, I have the Nine of Swords in the reverse position. So it's actually a very good card to get coming in in the reverse position because it does into, indicate to me that um, that whole mental anguish or, you know, living too much in your head or being like kept up at night by... Um, I'm getting a lot of you are like uh, in an environment like I'm getting an outdoorsy type of energy here in which um, I don't know if you can see it well, but he's kind of like pestered by, you know, bugs and, and things like that. So um, you're somewhat in a very uncomfortable situation. And as a result, you might not be getting enough sleep or you might be worried about, you know, the next phase in your life. You might be worried about, you might feel very restless as a result of having to wait. It's in the reverse position. So it indicates to me that for this week, this period of being stuck in limbo, this period of waiting is actually coming to an end, all right? So in terms of your crowning energy, we do have the emperor in the reverse position. So I do feel that the, the stalled energy is coming about mainly because there is something else that is coming into the works for you. So for example, what I'm getting here is for a lot of you, um, you might leave your current situation, okay? So it could be a work situation, it could be a relationship, but you're kind of like forced to have to wait because of the result or the actions of another person. So this period of waiting, it's frustrating, but I do feel that cosmically there's something there coming into the picture and it's coming in late so as a result you are waiting because divine timing indicates to me that it's something that's supposed to be there to meet you all right so rest assured there is a time and a place for everything and there is a reason for everything and i do feel that element of divine timing is in the works for a lot of you too in a work environment you might be dealing with an authority figure who can be a little bit difficult and you're just like um who is quite demanding who's quite like disorganized too i would say so you're kind of like not really sure if you want to stay in this work environment okay and as for your something in your environment that you're not aware of here this is the four of coins and this you know it, it's traditionally the miser card um, so you're dealing with somebody who makes promises, but I feel that deep down they are looking out for their own assets. They are kind of leading you on as a result. So it is really important to like, um, I feel that this person might be giving you like lip service and they don't really follow through with their promises and they don't really like act on whatever it was promised um, to you. Okay. However, I do feel that uh, a lot of insights about this person's true motives will be in the cards for you where you don't have to like suffer through, you know, um, false promises made or you're not like holding out for payouts from this person. Okay, that's interesting here. So what I'm getting here as the advice here is the Empress and, um, you know, cards especially for like general readings, these are always gender neutral. Okay, so keep that in mind. As for the advice that's coming in, we have the Empress. And the Empress is basically somebody who rules her domain. So for example, it's like the female alter ego of the Emperor. You have both of these cards here. The Empress is in the upright position. The Emperor is in the reverse position. So what I do feel in your environment that you are um, getting a, a helping hand with is that no matter what people do, it doesn't have any bearing on the way you conduct your business, the way you behave, and the way you treat others. So this is actually what I'm getting here is, you know, in certain situations where people are like treated very poorly, and then after like a really long period of time of being treated very poorly, they start internalizing those um, other people's perception of them, and they start to like have a very low sense of self-esteem, either that or they begin to emulate the types of behavior of those people around them, okay? The advice here is don't stoop to their level, okay? Know what you're about and know what it is that's right and wrong and, you know, don't, um, 
you don't have to fight fire with fire is what I'm sensing here because that emperor energy is an Aries energy. It's a very strong fire, very like um, stubborn fire sign that you are potentially dealing with for this um, for this week. So one of the thing here is know what you are about, know what um, you need to do. And you don't have to like, um, you don't really have to like um, appease this other person. So if they're telling you to do the wrong thing, you don't have to listen to them, okay? Because like um, the cosmic energies at work here, this is one of the reasons why I do feel that um, you feel a little bit stuck, okay? So you feel like you want to get out of your this situation, whatever it may be, but there's somebody that you feel is overpowering you. If you are at all in this situation, it is forcing you to like stand your ground and speak up for yourself, okay? Do not let other people encroach upon your space and um, affect your affect your life, okay? So stand firm in whatever it is that you believe in and do not uh, give this time person the time of day is one of the main thing. And uh, one of the important lessons for this week, and which is why I mentioned that um, you are going to have to stay here. There's a delay associated with this, well, and it, it would explain why you're stuck here. It's because you're kind of like being forced to deal with somebody that might be very overpowering, overbearing, controlling. So, you know, take it for what it is, and I feel that you have to stand up for yourself here, okay? In terms of your external environment, it is the Ace of Cups in the reverse position. So this is something outside of yourself. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, they are coming from a pretty dark place. They don't really have a lot of love and affection in their life. And I feel that that might explain their behavior. So keep that in mind, okay? We all go through challenges and some of us grow from them. Some of us are stunted. So, you know, depending on which side of the coin you're in, I do feel that you are going to have to deal with somebody who is like due to a lack of love and affection in their life. They are very emotionally stunted and as a result, they might mistreat others, okay? So there's this theme here of like different starting point, different backgrounds, different upbringings that are um, creating, you know, this um, this menace to society is what I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting. And keep in mind, this is something external to you. So it is going to come in the form of another person that you're dealing with possibly for this week. Um, you know, give them... Okay, so like I mentioned in the July reading for Capricorns in general, you know, don't tolerate this behavior, okay? Don't, um, you need to really defend yourself, okay? But you also have to understand where the other person's coming from. If you're at a loss for words, why the behaviors are so odd or so like inconsiderate, it's because they don't really know how else to act because they were, they were never shown a, an alternative, to, you know, a, a, the right way to act is, is my guess here. As for your hopes, this is, um, you know, hopes and fears, but this is a good card here. You're just trying to get out of this situation. You're kind of like stuck in limbo and you really want to, um, to leave. You really want to just take off into the night and, you know, just never look back. It's sort of like that Mary Poppins, but, you know, in the opposite because she's floating rather than descending from the sky. She's like, she wants these um, jellyfish, dandelions. I think they're jellyfish. She wants these jellyfish to like float her into the sky and never have to look back. Um, so that's wishful thinking, I feel, because it seems to me that um, this situation, you are going to get a very clear, good chance to deal with this person in a way that, that um, will alter their behavior, but at the same time show them a very good way to... Um, to live, to behave, to interact with, with other people because I don't feel they're operating at their best mainly because um, they have never been shown love and affection in their life. I know it sounds a little sad but um, there are always people like that. They might hide it very well. They might um, put on a very mean show or a very like um, a tough facade. I'm getting like an image of a bully like somebody who is um, who's very just like who who's just mean and you know who pushes people around who micromanages others or something like that 
And it's because, you know, they, they're constantly on the uh, offense, mainly because they don't, they've never encountered a situation in which others accepted them or embraced them with open arms. So if you're dealing with somebody like this, um, I would say first stand up for yourself, okay? Um, but don't fight fire with fire. You don't have to resort to like underhanded tactics in order to like embarrass this other person. Just um, kill them with kindness would be my thing. But at the same time, maintain your boundaries and um, stand up for yourself as well. As for the outcome, um, I do feel this is um, the Queen of Wands. Whenever I see this card, this is almost like divine intervention as well. This is like the fairy godmother card. If you look carefully, it's like um, somebody with like a fairy with wings who is casting, um, who's giving you like proper nutrition to, to thrive and grow. And in this situation, I do sense that you are going to have to take this role of the fairy godmother. So there is somebody who is emotionally stunted, okay, who is like, who was never shown love and affection and nurturance. And as a result, they just like, um, they don't really know another way to live. So you are going to encounter somebody, possibly like a, another fire sign, where you are going to have to step up and show them, you know, human decency. Um, I feel that they might be trampled on, you know, throughout their lives. And um, they might have seen others get trampled on. And they don't really see another way to to like have positive human interactions. So you're going to have to step up the plate here and um, step up to the plate here and show them an alternative way to live and to behave and to, to um, interact with other people. And as a result, I do feel that if it, mainly I'm sensing this is in a work environment because um, the outcome here is, is very fruitful. It is the page of coins. This is somebody that might be a little bit, um, yeah, so going together hand in hand with the miser card, with the four of coins, I do feel this is a person that might be like very materialistic. So they, um, they spend their lives accumulating wealth or they follow, you know, the trail of wealth or the scent of wealth and they accumulate it as an end in itself. So you're going to have to show them a, a different way to live. Okay. So, um, I feel that they come from a place of like, of lack, of, of extreme severe lack in love, in affection, in wealth. So um, they kind of go through life very muddled and they lose perspective of what's really important in life, okay? So it's kind of like somebody who, instead of spending time with their kids, they throw toys, they buy their kids all these things, they spoil their kids when, you know, it's like losing track of the importance of human interaction. So it's what I'm, I'm getting here. You might encounter somebody who's also very socially awkward and it seems like as if they were never like properly socialized. They were never like given a lot of like um, quality time with people around them, especially with their parents. So as a result of it, it is very difficult for you are kind of like taking on the role to re-socialize them. But at the same time, like, um, I feel that a lot of you are um, are patient enough to deal with this person, and that's why this person is kind of like plopped on your lap um, more than anything. I do feel that there is a reason here. There is some t sense of like cosmic timing at work that is keeping you stuck in this place against your will. I, I feel that a lot of you are just like itching to leave, but there's a reason why you're there because, um, you're the, honestly, like Capricorns are so patient. Earth signs in general are very, very patient. You would make a very good teacher, but what I'm sensing here is that, um, everyone else has abandoned this person because of their, um, stubbornness, but also like they're very like a uh, bullish type of personality. And they come across as somebody who's very like jarring, very abrasive. So they've been abandoned by the world. So you're kind of like coming in at the tail end of this, unfortunately. But through your nurturing and um, through your, your care and your affection, they are going to change. Okay, so um, I do sense here the Five of Cups is just um, in this situation you are going to get a holistic understanding of what this person has been through and you're going to like figure out a way to help them move forward. Okay. So it's a very, very 
unfortunately, this is falling on your lap, but I do feel that out of um, all the signs, you can undertake this endeavor and you will be able to show this person a lot more love and a lot more like, um, I guess like um, a more humane way to live. Okay, so it's a beautiful energy for you, Capricorn. Let me know how this plays out for you guys. I'm very interested if you are going to be dealing with somebody like this. Okay, financially, things look good. So don't worry. All right.